do you guys mind if I do any uh, Instagram live? No, just keep talking. I mean, essentially, this is on Don's account. So if you wanted to see I mean, this, you've wanted to see this stuff later. I mean, you know, if you, if you can stand my French accent, uh, uh, hey, <laughs> go for it. I love it. <laughs> Just uh, when I will collapse, you will have to feed me a little bit, but uh, okay. sure. Oh, absolutely. So we're here. We're here. Hopefully they can hear us. We're here at Don's Used Photo. We've got uh, Washi Film with us. I'm sorry, what is your name again? Uh, Lomik. Lomik, he's here and he's answering some questions right now. So come on down. Come on down. He's here till three o'clock, unless, of course, he starts, gets hungry. Uh, yeah. I can be uh, longer. Yeah, you yeah. can be here longer, but we'll, we'll just see what happens. We'll play mean, uh, it by ear. As long as you're here. Nothing, uh, nothing yeah. else plan to, to do with you. Yeah. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, but he was talking about the S. What were we talking about the S? Um, you had a question about that? Well, no. Uh, well, what, what you could do is if, uh, since everybody's here right now, just y'all three, but um, just give a brief outlay of your company. Uh, just a little brief story. Okay. Nothing fancy, but just the highlights. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Firmware, she was born in uh, 2013 with the idea of uh, bringing a uh, different film to, uh, to the film community. It starts with a film uh, called W uh, and coated on Japanese paper. Uh, at first it was a personal project, so I, I, I was not even thinking selling it on starting a company. But um, I got some friends uh, who asked for it, and some uh, shop in Paris were, uh, were telling me that uh, they might be interested to distribute it. So, um, so I decided to, 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 to take a leap of faith, I mean. And I, I had a second job, a day job at the time in a processing lab. So, uh, so I launched it, yes, uh, six years ago with only one film. So uh, it was labeled just film washi, uh, and that was the W. So it, W is the or, original film washi. Usually, pe when people speak about film washi, they think about the W. Um, and it grew very uh, little by little. I mean, uh, I start with the supply I got uh, off the shelf for my own project, and um, I was making very few film, like fifteen a month. It was. I was feeling it was a lot for me, uh, using uh, recycled uh, stuff to package a film, like the baking, 120 baking paper, 120 spool, stuff like that, uh, that I get from the laboratory. And, uh, and the demand was uh, growing uh, little by little. I get new distributor in Europe and uh, bigger distributor that gave uh, attention on the product. Uh, I, I don't know if guys you know Photo Impex in Germany. Apex? Photo um, Impex? Uh, we've had some Apex so. uh, Photo Impex is uh, also uh, they do ad hoc. No, no ad hoc. They are trained company. So that gave kind of attention of my product and um, like a guarantee of seriousness, I mean. So I got more distributor, uh, more demand, and uh, I also start uh, diversifying. Is that right? Diversifying yeah. my uh, activity by uh, because um, I was trying to get supply from from other film uh, company like the Emulsion, and so begin to talk. I begin to talk with other company and find out that they have in their kind of catalog, I mean, they have a production of films that was uh, still freshly made every year, but not for the um, common uh, photographer. It was filmed like for the X-ray, for the medical staff, or for the military uh, surveillance from airplane or for mapping vegetation, or also in the motion picture industry. So of course you have the shooting uh, motion picture film, like uh, the double X, uh, which is great, but you also have some uh, side production for post-production, like they use for the subtitle. I mean, you, you will not use uh, fancy color film to make subtitles or untitles. That doesn't make any sense, just to have black and white. So, so this film, um, 
this is still film. I mean, it's on police debate. You can, uh, and it's sensitive to the light. So you can load it in a camera and get picture. But of course, it's not made for regular, regular picture. So you get special effect. That was, in my opinion, very interesting. So I wanted to bring those film, to make this those film available to the customer like you. Um, so that's the S and the A come from. It's a subtitle or a leader film and also sound recording film. Um, so there is also uh, the D and the Z, which come from uh, aerial photography. Um, and uh, there is the, the F, which is uh, the last born of film washi, which is made uh, of uh, special X-ray film. So you, you get very, very strange uh, diffusion effect with this film. It's, uh, I love it. It's very nice. Um, and also, I, w I was also, also continuing research and improvement on the handcrafted film. Uh, I improved the W and also I made a new one which is called V with a different emulsion, um, a punk chromatic emulsion that can reach uh, 100 ISO and uh, can be pushed uh, and you get full punk chromatic sensitivity so you can make landscape to have all the green and the red sensitivity and it was caught, uh, quoted on a different paper, uh, paper made by famous um, Japanese paper uh, Awagami Factory. They also uh, produce high and uh, inkjet uh, paper. So they get in contact with me and ask me if I was interested to work with them. So, and then send me a lot of different sample of paper. It was just awesome to see all those different paper. So um, I selected one with a nice uh, texture. To, to create this uh, this new V film, panchromatic film. Um, so yeah, today the film washi you got basically three side. You got the handcrafted side. Uh, film is coated like every uh, week in my workshop in Saint Nazaire in France. So not this week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the next week, but I will be sleeping. But, um, but yes, yeah, there is cutting every week almost uh, in the workshop and uh, I do it alone. And the other side is a uh, converted uh, industrial film. So like I said, like the X-ray to bring it to you. Uh, like for example, the, the F film for X-ray uh, came in, I buy like kilometers uh, in big pancakes and it came in in 70 millimeters pancake. So I had to build a machine to cut it through precisely in two 35 millimeters pancake. And then I put it through a 35 millimeter perforator. And then I had my own semi-automatic machine to spool it in a recycled 135 uh, cassette. Cassette or cartridge? What do you cassette. say? Cassette. Okay. And the third um, side of film washi is more like uh, custom thing, on demand. So it's a small side, but it's it's cool. Also, is working with um, artists to make some uh, special coating on glass, on silicone, or copper, or stuff like that. Or also produce uh, photographic uh, stuff for uh, other company. So or perforating stuff for other company. Uh, uh, just like custom made stuff so i think that's all yeah that covers it all and uh, it how, how are you liking texas <laughs> that's kind of cool i actually i really love being there i've been only once before in the u.s and it was on the east coast so it was very different um and it was frustrating to see only uh, you know big, big city so i was happy to be in mckinney uh, for the workshop and mm -hmm. um, no it, it's it's great. I mean, it's completely different from France, uh, but it's, yeah, it's exciting. Yes, he was fully immersed in McKinney, Texas for five days. That yeah, was, yeah, I, I understand. How are the classes? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, great, great. Great people. Um, we really had fun and uh, it was, you know, um, closed. Uh, 
I mean, there was uh, six people in the first day yeah. and four in the second. So we had a, lo a lot of one by one spe uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was able to see a picture of, of but everybody and uh, explain a lot of things. Uh, people had questions and uh, and it was uh, nice to demonstrate the processing of the W and the V, which is special so people can uh, get confidence and do their own so that, that was really did you really see a nice. lot of good prints out of the uh, yeah. from the students yeah i've seen a, a good uh, good uh, negative yeah it's good and there was already some uh, we had time to make some prints um so yeah yeah there's uh, definitely uh, some uh, picture i want i wanted to see yeah yeah and, and also you you kind of learned a few things about uh, about your processing that you had a chance to Yes. Examine on yourself. Yes, actually, um, the, the the demand for uh, for my products, I must say that it's getting getting higher and higher. So um, that's why sometimes distributors don't have the stock because there is a waiting list and a production production schedule. So sometimes, yeah, I mean, they have to wait like for one month and one month and a half before between yeah. the order and the delivery. Um, because every time I'm I'm cutting something, it's a, almost booked for the order. And uh, when I convert industrial film, it's the same thing. I I try to to make stocks, but really I'm wiped out uh, really fast. That's a that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, but thing is, I don't really have a lot of time for research and uh, test and uh, development. So. Um, one thing I wanted to test since a long time was um, processing the W film in Ilford developer in a concentrate dilution, like one one <coughs> instead of one nine, and see if we could reach uh, 25 ISO, like we can do with the uh, titanium ochrobrom, and uh, we did it and it, it worked. So um, this is especially important for you in the US because it's hard to get tetanol chemistry in the US uh, so you can use uh, to be you, you were stuck to 6 ISO uh, with the W so now you can use multigrad or PQ universal from Ilford and get the 25 ISO sensitivity from film W which is a good news and they'll be making the changes on the data sheets yeah and all of this information on the data sheets on his website filmwashi.com and also a lot of examples of different film uh, or the different types of film on that side. Yeah, I hope I will be able to also update the picture to present the film because I will be yeah. making a lot of picture here in Texas <laughs> and in the US. So yeah, follow hopefully, the Facebook group. There will be a lot of stuff for you to see. Yes, hopefully we'll see a travel log of your uh, trip. No, uh, travel log, no, I mean, <laughs> I will be pretty uh, disconnected for this week. <laughs> But uh, well, like, yeah, after I guess then after you get back home, then yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 then yeah. we'll just see the results of the yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, I will, yeah. I will uh, process all the film and um, show whatever can be shown. Good. But I already got some good picture from the workshop, so it's cool. So if you guys have a question, yeah, you guys got questions, yeah, chime I in. Got, I got a couple of questions. Funny. Um, so first time I processed the um, that the Z. I did it one to one uh, with the D seventy six. I realized on the data sheet later on that it's it's stock, and still got good results with it. Um, so every every time I've played with your film, it's like you can really push and pull and still get some very interesting mm. stuff. A lot of what I shoot is like video art, like straight off a CRT monitor, and okay. the S, the type, the type S. That's just my jam. I love that shit. Thank you. Uh, I've been shooting a lot of like expired TX and Ilford stuff and. Just can't get the same results like i get sharp contrast and everything i need without without having to push and pull in the enlarger in the enlarger setting mm -hmm. it's just from the get-go like 30 second exposure i'm good to go i don't have to think about it so you've made the process of like making art like that much easier so <laughs> yeah yeah for sure like i wanted to add also like they are very sharp right oh yeah even no, like yeah. the the uh even the V, right? I was thinking like, okay, this is a paper thing and they would be emulsion, you know, yeah. like coated. So that might not be like, like I'm not sharp, sharp, you know, uh, mm -hmm. phobic, but still you, you see the image like 
and you zoom it, uh, there would be the, the, the papers, lines, they are very like say symmetrical or you know like even yeah. with that background i like this kind of yeah, disturbed it, it, old tv yeah it, it, it all, almost makes me feel like okay this this film has kind of a soul in it you know <laughs> it, it, it speaks you know yeah really I, nice. I, I mean with film rashi i don't want i have no interest to go to kodak and buy 10 kilometers of tracks and sell it under my brand uh, or, or motion picture shooting film like Double X or Orvo uh, NP74. I have no interest of that because some of the people are already doing it and these are more like regular shooting film. What I'm interested in is to bring films that got character uh, and like you said, soul, that, that's something different. Uh, some are some films are more uh, easier to use. The Z film is a film for aerial photography, uh, for uh, making a vegetation map because it has uh, a great um, close infrared sensitivity. So you get uh, you can make difference between all the shades of uh, green. It uh, it transfer to different shades of gray. So you can see okay, I got oak, I got pine, I got different kind of vegetation instead of just having a, a gray forest from the, from, the, from the sky. So this film has much more latitude exposure. It, it's the, the, with the D, the D and the Z are the more uh, like normal. Uh, the S is special because uh, it's uh, made for sound recording through big copying machine. It's not made to be in a camera or to, to make actual picture. It's made to record information. So um, as it is for sound, you don't want your sound to be like cracking or, uh, you know, with a lot of parasite in it. So you need a very, very high resolution. So this film, instead to have the anti aliasing layer on the back side of the film, the anti aliasing layer is uh, just right after the emulsion layer. So it's really super efficient anti aliasing layer and it's a 50 ISO uh, maximum sensitivity so you really have fine fine grain. It, basically yeah, it's, it's a no grain it's a no grain it's, film it's it's flawless for the kind of thing i'm doing especially like the moment you start enlarging some of this stuff as any other film like you get crazy amounts of grain but with with the s specifically no, it's, because you, you need high resolution yeah. so that the information can be um quickly and properly read by a light cell mm -hmm. um, and that's also why you need contrast so you have differentiation of the mm -hmm. uh, stuff um, yeah this film is incredible and the, um, I must say the response mm -hmm. uh, from the customers just overwhelmed me I was not <laughs> betting no really I was not betting that this film would be such um, a success. Well, I think part of it too is like the price. It's like one of the cheaper of the two of the of the handful. Yes, you know? it's, it's because the for this film it's supposed to be exposed in the machine, so they don't mm. put so much silver in it. Mm. That's also why you can't really push it. Uh, okay. So the less silver you got in the film, mm. the price is better. Mm. So that's a good thing. And uh, but yeah. Seeing after seeing the response for the from the film community about this film in 135, I really wanted to have it in 120. But this film is made for motion picture industry, so it's not supposed to be made in different formats rather than 35 millimeters. So I, I bought it in big pancakes of 35 millimeters. So I asked a lot the company who do it, like, hey, can we make 120? And of course, at the beginning, they say no, because we are a motion picture company. We don't cut the film in 120. That's not, you know, you know, workflow. Um, but this film is a big success. I mean, I, on film where she scale. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, so I was finally able to get solution and uh, to, I asked again and mm -hmm. again and again. And finally they say, okay, we can, we can save you a part of a master roll. A master roll is a uh, one meter width. It's the one when they coat the film. It's yep. one meter one meter width on one thousand six hundred meters. So they say we can save you a part of your master of your last master roll, but you have to 
to buy a minimum quantity and it was 300 meters of film which is very small for them it's very small yeah, yeah. in the yeah. film industry uh, uh scale but for me it was it represents 6500 volts of 120 so i was like whoa but i i really wanted to jump in and to make it available in, in 120 for the customers mm -hmm. because in 120 you you have even better resolution so i said okay let's go yeah. And I, at that time, I did not even have the solution to speed it. So, just go. So yeah, yeah. Uh, just go, and uh, I figure it out. I figure it out. Maybe I will have to to build my own slitter because I build a lot of things myself. Because nobody else is working at my side. So finally, I got a solution to make it slit. Uh, I spooled the first uh, one thousand wall myself with my own machine. Mm -hmm and uh, get the solution to make the rest pulled by uh, another film company. So this is the first film that is a uh, kind of uh, full uh, uh, industrially packaged. Mm -hmm. what I, was gonna, well, I wanted to ask one question. What is your favorite film you said? Uh, definitely the S. Yes, it's phenomenal. And your favorite one is? Uh, S was my favorite, but it's coming down to the W, let's, oh no, the V, the v yeah. Mm. W, yeah. I'll wait some time because I still don't have the confidence to, you know, <laughs> It's not, like, what, what I mean, you're like, not playing the same category anyway. You know, it's different yeah, stuff. Yeah, very different stuff, okay. yeah. What is your favorite then? Uh, my favorite is the C, so far. Yeah. Uh, I think there's still, uh, I've still got a few rolled uh, F and uh, uh, and D that I really want to play around. You got a selection of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, by the time you get through with it, it may all change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Your new favorite may be something different. Yeah. And then, but speaking I, of, yeah. I don't mean to interrupt, but that uh, that Russian aerospace film that was a that was a that was an interesting one because not only is it so much thinner than everything else, it just the results are just like it's kind of it's kind of got this ghostly character, kind of like the A does, but a little bit more. That's a that's something I wish I had like grabbed more of when it was available. I don't even I don't even know if it's available, but the, um, the yeah, aerospace. Which one was it? The aerospace film. I forget what what type that's. I think it's like the D. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I just passed yeah. a new order okay. to my supplier. Three left. So. Over. <laughs> Three left. Okay. Yeah, that's another one I want to. But play uh, there would be there would be more. I just I yeah. just passed uh, yeah. a new order to my supplier, so okay. I, when I will receive the film and I will for sure. perforate it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. This film is awesome because. Um, yeah, it's very thin because for mm. aerial photography, um, they do thin um, um, film to make it more mm. in the, in the in the magazine. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to to go to take your uh, your plane back to the ground all the time. Right, right. So that's why. And uh, this film has a lot of silver in it mm. because uh, we're, it's a 500 ISO and yeah. you can process it just like a 50 uh, ISO. So um, you really can push this film. Yeah, yeah it's and nice. it has fine grain and yeah, pretty much contrast actually. Yeah. I, I like I like this one. It's too. certainly got a very nice character to it that I uh, that I, I want to play with more for sure. Um, I like this one also because it was very very hard to get. It's hard to get. Yeah, very. Uh, I mean, now I got uh, this uh, connection with the company, yeah. so it's okay. But still, it's it's. Uh, it's difficult yeah, to, to get for yeah. sure also something too i i, I work at a photo lab and I, te I teach college students like intro to basically i assist students in, te in teaching intro to photography and and most of the time they, when they get to the dark room they see me and um i would definitely not recommend this film for like first time film users at all like i just like mm. because it's not it's not labeled like the ilford stuff is frame by frame and it's yeah yeah I, i've yeah honestly though i like it like that like keep it keep it that because like this is for more like experienced users for sure like I, it gives that level of exclusivity without having to so i which, which lab do you work at uh, brookhaven yeah brookhaven yeah yeah that's the one i work at um but yeah i it's definitely got a level of like hierarchy to it that is if, if you're shooting film for the first time personally i would not recommend this like that's just like from a user standpoint like yeah, the z is a good entry yeah, yeah definitely definitely yeah it's just like the the amount of time it takes to, or the processing is a little bit different 
But yeah, the actually the the Z is the Z is closest to closest to like uh, on our on our data sheet is like closest to like Fomapan or something. So it's like very like it's mm. it's pretty close to it. it. It's not made by Foma, but no, uh, no, it's, it's got a very similar time yeah. time sheet. Yeah. I mean, um, when I when you compare data mm. from different films, mm. uh, some film can just be processed the same. I, mm. I don't know what kind of machine you have in your lab, mm. but when I was working in a lab, we were working, working, sorry, yeah. with um, Ilford FP40 machine. See, and we do everything by hand, so it's okay. almost like hand so yeah. In this kind of machine, th these are fast, continuous yeah. processing machines. I mean, you have the end of the film uh, in the develop in the fixer, mm -hmm. and the beginning of the film is still in the developer. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can load, you 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 tape two different film or two same film mm -hmm. uh, on a leader card on a plastic leader card, and you just feed the machine with this. You close the machine, and then it's um, convey. Can you say convey yeah, yeah, yeah. through uh, the different bath? Mm -hmm. So um, and it's very fast. I mean the processing time mm -hmm. go from uh, 50 seconds yeah. to 120 seconds only. Wow. It's because, um, yes, you have part of the film is in the fixer and mm -hmm. part is still moving in the mm -hmm. developer. So, uh, and as, as a pace, with this, I mean, the setting, mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, jump from uh, 10 seconds to 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, the D, Mm -hmm. uh, we can launch the D with the uh, same time as pound F at 50 yeah, idle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we were launching the, the S uh, at same with the trix at 400, mm -hmm. and it was like 80 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, the A and the Z was launched with uh, same time uh, 70 seconds as uh, in for Delta 400. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's that was very good machine to. Um, to to define what was a good time so sure, that was sure. on the on the data sheet you have uh, this um, this tip like if you don't if you're processing uh, if your developer is not list you can process this stream like another one mm -hmm. like a trix you expose at 50 but you process just like it will be for classic trix at 400 and it will it will went all good because mm -hmm. we were processing the same as trix okay so that's a good um stuff because it, it gave you know uh reference if you sure. stay within those reference yeah you should be okay yeah i know that's like the first time i processed the z it was like i did it one to one like i would do anything else but then i read on the data sheet it's like you do it stock mm. not that but, but the z has, has more latitude exposure exactly than the yeah other, so, so that was okay so it didn't even matter hey guys we're going to end the uh the instagram uh live here uh i'm sorry so where can they go to find uh more about the film um, the entry uh, point is uh, www.filmwashi.com, which is the official official uh, Filmwashi website. Yes, fantastic. Um, you got all the data sheet online available for download. You also have some video uh, link to uh, how to process V and the W. Okay. And um, through this website, you also have um, a link to the Facebook and Instagram. Instagram also, I guess. Yeah. Um, the Facebook group is open to uh, every people who have interest to uh, film washi, so people can post the picture, share what they feel about it, ask question. Um, usually, I, I always, I often answer a question on the Facebook group, but you can also send me an email directly. Uh, film washi is the world's smallest film company, so I'm just alone. You know, there's no secretaries, there's no um, barrage. Or that's that's direct to me. So uh, I I'm, I try to answer uh, in uh, 36 hours. And, uh, I Fantastic. mean, I try to answer everybody. Uh, sometimes it might take some little bit of delay because I'm busy, but I try to answer everybody. Um, and also there is Instagram. Um, there is a uh, official like account on Instagram, which is Filmwashi official. And also there is a, a huge uh, community community on Instagram. I mean huge for Filmwashi. Mm -hmm. uh, that if you if you look for uh, Filmwashi hashtag, you say hashtag. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or Washi film hashtag. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of uh, sample of picture. 
and uh, also some people uh, tag it like washi day or washi a washi z so you can find some uh, some sample of uh, of a picture made with the film and and yeah the, the community i think is pretty much alive and uh, and growing and growing that's, <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that's very cool it's, it's very very uh rewarding i mean uh when i see all the picture made with my film it's like kind of vertigo i mean like a, did I do all that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to point out, uh, I, the last time I ordered, I had close to 300 pieces of items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I have left. So I don't have much left. Whenever he leaves, I'm going to place an order with him, but whenever he heads out. And um, it's going to be a while before, as that's, he says, he's going to get back. Yeah. He's got a lot yeah, of catching you, up to do. That's fine. And then he's got a project to go to. Take your time. It's, it's and all then it's going so, to yeah. be, uh, whenever he gets back from everything, He'll work on the orders. Yeah, it's how, uh, how much longer is he here today? Sorry, he's here till three o'clock, but he may be around longer. And um, that's up to you. Yeah, it's up to me. To give you, <laughs> to, to give you an idea, uh, Film Washi has been launched in uh, 2013. Uh, all all kind of film together. Uh, we are I'm now above the thirty thousand pieces of film total. Total all the time. Yeah. How much? Um, how much? How many rolls did you do just last year? Uh, I think it was like five thousand or six thousand. Uh, something and this like year that. This is growing, yeah. And um, the, I made more than uh, like eight thousand rolls of just uncutted film. So All right. Well, we're gonna end this. So. Right. Thank you. Thank you.